I got my hands on one of the first titanium modular welding tables. Now I'm sure the questions are gonna come in of, hey, you've already got a pretty good looking welding table. I know, it's pretty sweet. So why did I go out and buy this one? Honestly, it's because my curiosity got to me and I've been very curious about this style of welding table. So let me tell you what you get with it and the things I like and dislike about it. Opening it up, well, of course you get the tabletop. You know, you got legs to make it a full-on stand. And one of the first things I did pull out was what I thought was going to be the frame that the actual tabletop sits on, but this is not. Well, I'm actually kind of glad. This is just some really thin angle. This guy is actually the stiffener for the legs. Uh, upon digging more stuff out, the tabletop is already bolted or assembled to the frame that it sits on, and that is three quarter by one and a half inch rectangular tubing. If you don't want the full on stand and you just want it to be a tabletop, table, a tabletop welding table, whatever it is, you can just use uh, these little mini feet, which I, I actually haven't put one or the other on because I haven't quite decided which way I want to go yet. But it's nice that they actually include clamps and stops and you know adapters pretty much everything you need to make a full fixture onto the table itself and there's a lot to talk about it first of all it's two feet by three feet that's right on no issues some people claim that it's three sixteenths it's not it's only four millimeter which makes sense they're coming out of china four millimeters thinner than three sixteenths and they can get a lot cheaper there now, whether you care or not, this table is actually almost identical to the clutch one from Northern, um, even down to all of the adapters you get. Why do you care? Well, first, the holes are 5 8 which is a very common size for a smaller fixture type table like this. And titanium doesn't have extra kits with all of the uh, tooling or adapters, so you can go on to Northern, get theirs, and they'll work with this table. Uh, with this, the things you gotta watch out for is you can't do an extended period of welding right next to it or on it. Yes, that heat will start to warp the table and or don't drop a whole bunch of weight on it. You know, if you're redoing a transmission or something, I hope you would not be using this as your rebuild table for heavy parts. Keep it in the shop or garage for that light duty type stuff and you are golden. Another downside with a thinner table would be the type of clamp. So it's great, these have clamps, you got the hole, you stick it through, but typically on a thicker one, the, you have a longer stud right there, which would be the same diameter as your hole. You stick it in and then it just uses that clamping force and you can clamp down as tight as you want. Well, thinner table, it just wobbles. You can't get that force, that sideward force, I guess you would call it. And so you have to stick the nut up underneath on the end. So that does take an extra step that you got to watch out for. The holes are on two inch spacers, but let's get real. Very seldom are you going to have things line up exactly. So you use your bump stops as kind of your starting point. The other nice thing is they do come with these uh, little adapters. These actually don't go in that way. Uh, what these guys are, um, it's these little bar stop uh, type adapters. These just go in upside down. They have little magnets. So yes, they thought of that. Honestly, it didn't take that long. You use your bar stops and then your bump stops to pretty much make a perfect frame and fixture. You clamp it down nice and tight and you are ready to tack it up. Now, I don't do too much with pipe or round tubing, but just so you know, it does come with eight, wait, oh, two, four, six, eight V-block type adapters, so makes it easy. That's a lot more than 5,000. So. Okay, let's talk about the elephant in the room with the back to the tabletop and the tolerances of flatness. It claims that it is within 5,000 or 0 0.05 plus or minus. What this table does is um, it's actually good on this side and it kind of takes a nosedive down at the end. This side's actually pretty good going this way. It's actually pretty good um, going this way, front to back, all up until you get to about this corner, right? Right over there, you can kind of see. What I'm thinking I could do, whether you care or not, and you have the same issue, is you could easily take off these screws and probably shim underneath that corner, get it back up there. You're kind of leveling the frame itself.
Two thumbs up for squareness. It is right on. I ended up going with the feet over the legs. You get both. So maybe I'll switch it up every now and then. Final thoughts. Well, I would say this is the perfect type table for just an introduction. The person that just wants to get into a beginner type fixture table. It has its flaws, but for less than 200 bucks, honestly, you can't go wrong. And all of the adapters and clamps are just a bonus. Well worth it, even though you have to work around, you know, the extra time it takes for those. I'll end with a pro tip for you. This is a steel table. It will rust with any moisture or water that gets on it. The best thing, just do a quick spray of some WD, um, just all over the table every now and then. Yes, it will leave just a very slight film, but that will protect it from any rust coming up. And especially coming into winter, I'm gonna need that for sure. So that's all I got. I'm Mechmaster. We'll see you next time.